Alright guys, what is up? Casual Kakao here. And uh, today, we have a nice mod for you. Today, the mod is the hammer. So the hammer is this little tiny mod. It's a hammer by uh, Kato, and this is the real one. It's not a clone. I don't. They only made so many of these, and I don't know if they're really around anymore. But it's really heavy, especially. I think I have a battery in here. Do I? I think I have a. Yeah. It only takes 18350s on the original one. Some of the clones had extension tubes, but. The uh, original hammers did not come with that. It's just I, I didn't understand why they did that. But but yeah, it's an 18350 device. Just so you guys know, some of these engravings in here, like this hammer right here, just looks really cool. And then they have what? Why oh, yeah, a hammer underneath? And they have 1277 as my uh, serial number. They have an engraving on the button. And then they had an engraving on the 510 connection on the top, which is, it, the whole thing's covered, like, the only side that doesn't have it is this, and that's the battery venting side, so it's pretty, like, it just looks like tatted up pretty much to me. And it's got brass contact up here with a floating spring-loaded pin, which actually is not that good of a pin. I was really not surprised with this. I was not uh, impressed with this mod, to be honest with you guys. Especially for how much it costs. $250? This this mod right here, the original one, costs $250. And it's only 18350 device. And it has brass contacts. Like, really? I don't even know if it's like brass plated. It could be, but I think it's solid brass. Um, and if you look inside there, it's all brass. And then they have the... Uh, Delrin inside the tube so the battery does not I guess jump around and stuff even though it's got its own coating I don't know but the way this device works is you have just like any other mod you have um, you have your positive up here and your negative right here making connection when you press this little tiny mini throw button which doesn't want to come apart now. Come on now. Oh well, it's locked now. Doesn't want to do it. It's not reverse threaded on this lock. It just goes and tightens in with it, which can cause problems. This button, when you actually have a battery in it, it has the shortest throw you'll ever see in your life. But, what am I doing? We should go down below and see how well this thing is really made. Alright guys, so here we got the hammer. It comes in this really sleek box. It's like all wood. I think it's actually plastic, but they make it look like wood. Or it's like cardboard. Yeah, it's a, it's a, like a mesh of wood like Ikea makes. And it's got the hammer logo right there. And it just says UVO System by Kato. So it's pretty nice. That's how you know mine's the original one. And it just comes like this, just this little guy, and there's foam on the top, there's foam on the bottom. So when I got this thing, it had a wrap around it with, um, of like plastic, so that when you saw it with this box, it sits like, just like maybe an inch up when the mod is in there, and it would just like squish down. Like it'd be up to here, and you just squish it down. It was, it's good packaging. I do admire him on that. So here we got everything on here. You know what? I'm gonna wait one second. I'm gonna put on my ceiling lights and maybe that'll help with the up close. Maybe you could see the 510 a little better on that now. So yeah, it's got the brass floating spring loaded pin, and they got these cool like ram like goat looking things in there. And then they got uh 
just that logo. And then there's a locking switch right there. It's locked. Spin that ring again. And it's unlocked. When you pop a battery in, I'll show you how short this throw is. So I've been just using these little tiny 800 ma, um, 183350, 1835, 18350 ma, uh, batteries from EFest. And 800 ma, I mean, just, they just don't last for shit, honestly. And I'm just popping a cave on it because everything else just puts out really bad um, performance. The cave fun is doable. And as you can see, it fired. There's a spring-loaded pin in here. As of now, it's working. I've had to take it apart before. This whole assembly right here, because this part, as you can see, is, you can see a little bit on the spring load. It comes back out. So there's a little tiny copper spring in there, and it, um, it makes it so this will always be all the way out and make connection with your brass tube right here to, so then when this comes, it completes the circuit. Whoop, off camera. When the button comes to hit it, it um, makes a complete circuit and you fire, but the spring had collapsed inside there pretty early on. You can barely hear it firing. But it does. It barely fires. Uh, yeah, I had problems with the spring of the button because it was a copper spring, which obviously copper is softer, so it was easier to collapse that spring. And the, it was a copper spring in here too, so it was easier for that to collapse. I didn't even do anything. It was just me putting on different. It was just me putting on different addies for this to collapse, and then me just using this for this to collapse. And I really, really hated that it did that. I just dislike the fact that it did that. But the cool thing. When you set it down, it looks like a little pipe mod, and if you get a cool drip tip with the pipe drip tip, uh, this thing would look pretty snazzy and you can vape like a sir. So we'll shoot back up, we'll see how well she vapes, and all that jazz. Alright guys, we're back, and we have the K-Fun on the hammer, we'll just see how she vapes. It's meh, just this little pit. Little tiny cloud. I'm gonna turn off my fan real quick. That's unnecessary. And yeah, you can see. It is alright. I just get barely any throat hit out of it. I just get just pretty crap vapor. And I'm interested on in what the voltage drop is on this, because I'm pretty sure it's excessive. When I first got it, people were saying because of the design in here, inside here, because of this design, it actually was like, um, really low voltage drop, but I, I think they're wrong on that, to be honest. But yeah, that is all I gotta say about the hammer. I was really unimpressed with it, really unimpressed. Just. Ah, but it's more of a collector's thing than it is a actual performing device. It's like, wow, you know, it looks like a pipe mod. You know, look at that. It looks like a pipe. It totally does. And then you hit the button right there and it fires it. It's great if you want to be like a server. And when you get it, it's pretty much put together for you. You don't need any help putting it together. I would take apart this switch for you guys. But it's a really simple switch. I mean, literally, it's 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 the simplest switch you could ever have. It's got a Delrin um, Delrin insulator right here, so it doesn't auto fire. It's got a brass connection pin right here with a flat head. You unscrew that, the button comes out, and there's a little copper spring in here. Here, I'll show you the copper spring because it is quite annoying to have this copper spring in here because copper is softer so the spring collapses easily. So as you can see here's the little pin. I'm just doing this part off camera just to show you. And this is the little tiny copper spring. You can barely even see it dude. 
and it's already starting to collapse on me again. So when that happens, I just pretty much, and if I extend it out too much, it's just, it's just bad news bears again, all over again. Like it's so easy and so malleable. Look at this. It, like I could pull this straight if I wanted to, which is scary. And I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna pop everything back where it's supposed to be. Okay. And then this goes in like so. Hopefully. screws in. I hate screwing with this thing because it just, it screws with me more than I screw with it. If you know what I mean. And it pisses me off all the time. Oh, another thing on this, if you have like a flat uh, top battery like I do, you can actually pop it in the opposite way and it'll work just fine. Watch. You have an even shorter throw on the button. And it still fires that way. Which, I haven't run into any other mod that'll do that for you. So, yeah. But just to be safe, I would make the button the negative side. Just purely, purely for safety. And the throw, you don't want that short. I mean, look how short the throw is on this. This is the one thing I gotta give. That's it, just boom. It's like you're touching it, you just go. And I literally can put the weight of my finger on and it'll fire it. It's pretty amazing. And I do like that about it. If they would have put that button on a more practical mod, it would have been great. But that's all I got for the hammer. See you guys on the next review. And yeah, I think the next one we're gonna do is probably, hmm. Hmm, what are we gonna do? I have a Tobe, I have a Patriot, and I have a Vertex. I wanna do an RDA. But I don't know which one we should do. Well, I'm gonna decide off camera and you'll see. It'll be one of those guys and we'll have fun with it. All right, peace out guys, next time on the vape channel, gotta finish it with the two.